Good morning, everyone. Been a little while since I've done a get ready with me, so I figured today I would take you along. I have all of the stuff I want to use here already laid out, and I thought we would just kind of play with a little bit of makeup and chat. I have to say, it's not even 8 o'clock yet and I'm already sweating, but we're going to pull through. So I'm in a little bit of an experimental stage. One of my cousins is getting married and she asked me to do her makeup as well as her mom. So I kind of basically know what I want to do for my cousin. Here's the thing. Here's my goal. A nude lip. She, when it comes to coloring of like lips and such, she and I are similar. And here's the thing. My lips, as you can probably tell, have no pigmentation whatsoever. So when it comes to finding a nude lip that works, it's quite difficult. Anything that other people try, suggest, either comes out looking brown or too orange. I have a combo here that I found from TikTok that I'm going to try. I don't know how it's going to work, especially with the eye look that I want to do, but we're going to give it a go. That before that wedding, my goal is to find a nude lip that will work. Let's go ahead and get started on this because I have a feeling it may take a little bit. I'm starting out with the Essence Poreless Primer. I think it's an okay primer. On keeping on par with Essence, it has quite the fragrance to it. So if you are someone who is sensitive to that, this one's not going to work for you. It definitely has that fragrance in there. And honestly, being pore filling primer, this one feels almost a little too liquidy for that. Gonna let that soak in, let that dry, and then we'll move on. I already have my moisturizer on. It's the Veining Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer. So that is what I have on. I wanna start with the eyes. And here's the thing, my dress for this wedding is going to be purple. So I have some shades I want to try, and actually, I lied, I'm missing a palette. I'll be right back. So I was missing two palettes. As I mentioned, my dress is purple, so the eyeshadow look that I want to do, also purple. I'm going to set this one aside, but I kind of want to play with this shade here from Welcome to Marrakesh, and then this shade here from LA Girl. This is theirs in So Sweet. So let's just give it a go. Let's play with them. I have used this one before. I have never used this palette. I really want to get in there and swatch them. Let's do it. Let's just swatch. Oh, okay. All right. I think this one could be what I am looking for. I'm kind of thinking this one would be really pretty in the inner corner. Okay. Let's get started. I have my Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer from Revolution. This one is almost out. I'm surprised it's still going. But I'm going to use as much of it as possible. So for the moment, I'm only going to put that on the eyes and blend that out. I think I'm going to start with the LA Girl and then if I feel I need to, I'll go to the Welcome to Marrakesh. But I'm going to take this kind of like a lavender shade and put that all in the crease. Here's the thing. I want it to be noticeable but I don't want it to be too stark because I want to cut the crease and have that be even lighter. And I, I, I forgot a step. Typical me. I should probably put this one all over first. We'll do that on the other eye. See if it makes a difference. So today is a filming day for me. I have been so bad when it comes to filming. I need to get several done today. All right, I'm going to take this light one all over on this eye. I also have a lunch to go to today with some family. Can I get it all done? I don't know. 
I definitely intend to film some of the ones that I need to get done today, this one being one of them, but I don't know if I'm going to get them all done. I have to say, this is really pretty. It is building quite nicely. I'm noticing here, I don't know if it's going to pick up on the camera, but can you see where I've put my brush? It looks a little pink. Interesting. All right, so I think I'm going to leave that like that for the moment. If we need to build more later on, we can. But what I want to do now, which I think I could probably leave it like this to get the look that I want, but I kind of don't want to. I want to cut the grease. For that, this e.l.f. brightening concealer, that's the only reason I use this. I use it only to cut the crease. All right, so there we have that. I'm gonna pull in this Revolution palette in Nude Silk. This one has this shade Original here. It looks like just an ordinary champagne shade, but when you put it on the lid, it kind of gives it this metallic wet look. That's what we're gonna put where we just cut that crease. I may come back and fill it in using my finger, but for now, at least on the edge, I want to use this brush to get a, the most precision that I can. The right eye is always so much easier to do than the left eye. Alright, so that took quite nicely. I don't think I need to put any more. I do think that this shade is pulling a little pink from what I can see, which isn't really a problem. It's not bad. But I do want to go to the Welcome to Marrakesh palette, grab that purple, kind of put it on the outer edge here. I definitely think this one is more purple. The LA Girl is coming off a little pink, so for the look I want, I might have to go with this one. I'm going to kind of layer some of that purple. Yeah, I definitely think this is going to be the one I have to go with. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this one added to it, you can definitely see this one pulls a little more pink. All right, I'm going to leave the eyes alone for the moment. Once I get the under eye done and everything, then I'll come back and put this one in that inner corner. But for the moment, we're going to move on. Of course, I have my Maybelline eraser to cover up these dark under eyes. We're gonna go back to the Revolution Eye Bright Concealer. Put that over the top, around the nose, and the chin. Y'all, I have been breaking out so much. I think I've been breaking out more now than when I was a teenager. That is just not the vibe. For foundation, I'm gonna have to mix two. I have the Revlon Illuminance. I have this shade 309 and 405. So I do have just a little bit of coloring from going to the beach and being on the boat, but it's not a whole lot. So I'm going to mix them and hope for the best. Still not a complete match. I knew that was probably going to be the case, but that's just what we're working with. I do have a bronzer that we can bronze things up a bit. Try to get things to coordinate a little more. First, I'm going to powder though. For my under eyes, I'm using the number seven in light. We're coming up on the week, I should say, of the 4th of July. I was going to say 4th of July weekend, but the week of 4th of July. It falls on a Thursday. That sucks. Because you're going to get one day off and then have to go right back. For the rest of my face, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible. This is their powder bronzer. Powder bronzer. Powder foundation in 120 vanilla. Let's bronze a little bit. I'm going to use the NYX Butter Bronzer. I usually use Butter Cup. But today, I want to try Deserve Butter. It may be totally too dark. I don't know, but we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna start with my nose. It is definitely gonna be 
darker than the other one. I'm gonna need to be careful and not load up my brush. Okay, I'm gonna try just that one tap. Just that one. I have to say, I really like these NYX bronzers blushes as well, which we're going to use one today. They're pigmented, they blend easily, they do have fragrance, but I really like them. I think I need more of a tan for this shade. If you've been here, then I've mentioned before. My hands and my face do not retain color. When I get out in the sun, I will tan, but my hands and my face, that color just fades. It does not remain, which is quite frustrating. But if you're wondering why, that is why. Okay, I'm gonna go in with just a big brush and kinda buff that out. The heat is real, y'all. The heat is real. All right, the blush that I'm gonna use today is the Butter Together. If this packaging looks dirty to you, I have a little story time for you. So I placed an order and I wanted to get the You Know Butter, but this one was not in store. So I placed an order with Ulta online. I need anybody to comment down below if you hate Ulta's shipping. Okay, I had three products in there. The eyeshadows were completely destroyed. There was not one speck of eyeshadow left in the actual palette. It was all over the inside of the bag. They stained these. The eyeshadow stained these packages. I tried to clean them up as best as I could, but they look used. I just got these. I haven't even used this one yet. But yeah, completely destroyed. And I was feeling petty, petty, petty. So I took the whole package to the Ulta store, gave the girl the shattered palette that had eyeshadow powder everywhere. And when she asked for the receipt, I gave her the receipt out of the package as well that was covered with eyeshadow. I despise Ulta's shipping. Do you not know how to use packing? Do you not want to use packing? what what is the mindset there and this is not the first time it's pretty much every time i think i've had one order come from ulta that wasn't completely destroyed okay this one is very pretty it is hard for me to wear cool tone kind of that bluey pink blush but butter together is seeming to work it has a light pink which goes with the light purple eyeshadow look but it's not so much that it doesn't look good. I have a Flower Beauty one that I just purchased not that long ago. And I actually had to give it to my sister because it just did not work on me. It did not look good. This one seems to have enough warmth to it to not be a problem. I really like that one. All right, let's jump back into this eyeshadow palette though for this shimmer to try to put it on those inner corners. that down. It's not too stark, but I think it is noticeable. I think I'm going to take both purples though and put them on the bottom lash line. I'm going to start with the LA Girl purple and kind of stamp that one on. And then welcome to Marrakesh purple to smoke it out. made a difference it made a difference all right for highlighter i'm gonna use the flower beauty this is their shimmer and strobe palette in sp1 i thought it had i thought there was a shade to this because i know there are two options this is the lighter of the two sp1 i guess but actually today i think i'm gonna use the pink I don't use that one very often, but I think today warrants the peak. I'm gonna set everything with the Milani Make It Last. 
while that dries for mascara i'm going to use the benefit fan fest I have a little trial size here travel size it's not my favorite but i need to use it because i paid for it for as expensive as this mascara is even the trial size i don't feel like it does enough look at this eye compared to this eye can you from where you're viewing through the camera can you see enough difference i feel like i don't if you're gonna put a hefty price tag on something it needs to work and it needs to work well one thing i will say these purple eyeshadows today my eyes are looking green so i have hazel eyes and a lot of times they just kind of look brown but certain colors be it clothes or eyeshadows make them look green today they're looking green i'm gonna mess with this eye let it dry and then i can clean it up this is not my favorite i can really say i kind of don't even like it we've made it to the lips that i mentioned earlier in the video that i got the combination from tiktok it's supposed to be a nude but with my unpigmented lips i don't know how it's gonna work out we're gonna see the lip liner I have is the NYX in Peekaboo Neutral. Let's go ahead and pop that on. I have a little bit of oil. That is a lie. I have the Neutrogena Lip Mask. It's not an oil. Something else I've noticed with nudes, I can't go too cool toned, but that completely throws it off. I tried the lip liner Gone Grage, also from TikTok. Doesn't look the best. So that right there doesn't look bad. It's a little warmer, but the lipstick I have is Revlon's Bare Affair. See how it's a little warm? For me, it's not as nude as I want it to be, but it's not bad. What do you think? Do we like? I think it's nice. It goes better with the eyes than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be way, way too warm, but it seems to work. Again, not totally hitting the spot for me, but not bad. All right, thank you so much for being here with me and getting ready with me today. I'm gonna go ahead and go change, keep on rolling with these videos, and then head out to lunch. I have done a few of these in the past. I will link them here for you on the screen. So go ahead and click those before you go and I'll see you over there.